Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I have a couple of flip throughs to do today. Um, and these are both soft sided journals. And what I decided to do, I had so many of these beautiful embroidered pieces that I have made. Um, I've got a huge stack of them. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to assimilate these onto my journal covers or make some journal, use them, some of them to make my journal covers. And I'm going to be doing an upcoming video on that uh, shortly and how to take your pieces and, uh, you know, place them on the cover and choose your fabrics to go with them. So I have two uh, really sweet little soft-sided journals here. And uh, on each of them, I just have some chiffon trim that I coordinated with the, with the cover, you know, the cover fabric and the covers, the colors in the embroidery piece. Okay, let me sit down here and we're going to start with this one and this one right here is um, uh, kind of like a teal. Let me get the chiffon tie out of the way. Uh, like uh, teal green and greens and aqua colors and then you can see the cover and I chose this fabric that I had in my stash to go with this embroidered piece so you can see I chose uh, some pink trim Bree sit down that's my chihuahua she's trying to get on my lap um, pink trim here and then some white trim here and I kept all the strings and and made it kind of shabby. It's kind of shabby chic, I guess. And um, you can see the pretty birds on here and the flowers and all of that. So it, you can see here's the spine. The next one I make, I'm going to uh, make it and add the, I'm going to sew my signatures in first and then add the embroidered piece on the top. I'll lay it all out because um, that way I can hide the, um, you know, the signature strings, and you'll be able to, you know, see more of the beautiful embroidery. Okay, so here's the back, and you can see I have some pink trim um, coming out the bottom. Now these, I want to add a couple journals in my shop that were on the lower of the price ends of my journals. So these are smaller journals, and um, let me get a... I thought I had a ruler over here. I did. I don't know where it is. Let me grab another ruler so I can tell you the size of these. Okay, so this is uh, 8 inches by 6 inches, and it has a 1-inch spine, and it has two signatures. And I have some trims in here, but you know how I trim out all of my books at the bottom and on the sides uh, to keep this price point down on this journal. Um there's not as much, but there's still plenty of trims, still plenty of trims. Okay, as we get in, I did choose digitals that went with the colors of the um, embroidery on the cover, on the front cover. So you'll see it kind of all just uh, flows and, and lends well. And the digitals are from several different people, so I will list those below. And this is kind of a shabby chic style, I guess. Uh, you can see I have a pocket here with this pretty uh, fabric and some trim here. And then this journaling page here. So uh, there is a little bit of a vintage vibe in here as well. So we got a tag here. And then we've got a little tuck spot here. Got an old vintage calendar, French calendar page here. This is from Ruby and Pearl. And then I distressed it after I printed it. And I believe that one is from, um, oh, I will list her below. I, I love her digitals. Um, okay, so we have a journaling page here. And that's just tucked in here. And this, oh, okay, now this page is, the, oh, vintage wallpaper kind of uh, style in here as well. Amity Bloom. That's what that is. That's a lot of the printables in here are from Amity Bloom. Okay, so let's just turn here. I've got some embellished em, embossed pieces in here. That's just embellished embellished vellum, and I did do a little stamp of um, punching here on this edge of this paper. Vintage book page here. 
Got one of my little bags I like to put in, and we've got a little notebook here, or a little scrappy journal pad here, and I just tied it up with some pretty sorry silk. A lot of strings still hanging. I've got a beautiful fabric flip, and what I chose here, this is a parchment writing paper. I did some um, embossing up here. I chose uh, a piece I had, this had been a sample, and uh, I have a bunch of uh, fabric samples, so I used one of them as a fabric flip here. And then uh, we have another flip up here on some coffee stained paper. And uh, this is one of those French um, calendar pages. Got some music uh, paper here. Got a tag in here, a journaling card, did a little stenciling. Made, made these cute little bags out of some paper I had. Doily, I have some really fun doilies in these books, um, printed doilies. This is one of them. Did a little scallop punch here. This is the middle of the first signature. So we have a nice writing spread here. A The other part of that envelope. It's a little punching on this card here. These are from, oh, Melina Art Design. Fun doily, and you can do this as a tuck spot here as well. Uh, writing parchment, or parchment paper. A little punch here. Plenty of room to write in this journal. That's uh, It's not overly embellished, so it'll be quite easy to write in. Create in. I'm not gonna pull them out, but we, well, I can. A couple of tags here, or journaling cards, I should say. Um, eyelets and then some trim. Second signature, I've got a, a large pocket here, and then I just pop this page in it. This is printed on um, photo uh, paper. Get a nice print. Get a pocket here. And there's such pretty colors. Another one of those fun doilies, printed doilies, and I made a pocket out of it, and then I have a nice journaling card here. I did a little punching in those corners. I reinforced the um, pocket with some cardstock. This is sketch paper here. Uh, I've got a double pocket here, so there's a pocket down here and a couple of sweet tags and a brad there, a gem brad. To do a little embellishing here, a little embellishing here on this large tag. Some printed uh, vellum. A little um, pocket or translucent pocket here with a couple little tags. A pearl brad. Another flip. A little stenciling. Coffee stained paper. Vintage music and some tracing paper to kind of protect it. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. Got some um, embellishing on this envelope here. In the envelope, I have a couple of sweet little tags that I did some little embellishing on. Uh, a little scallop. Um, edge here and a little scalloped edge here and here's the second uh, middle of the second signature I did some trims on this envelope a little stenciling another journaling card a little secret writing area or you can glue it up and make a tuck some trims Pretty paper. A little stenciling. 
The other part of that uh, vellum envelope, we've got a little hang tag uh, wax seal here. It can be removed. There's a, um, okay, we've got some trim on that. Um, ball pin, sorry, it can be removed with the ball pin. Okay, we've got another little double pocket here, a couple little tags, and another little booklet. Couple tags in here, some pretty trims and some Swarovski crystal. A large pocket here with some pretty trim. Some journaling card. And then a paper in here, vintage style. And that large pocket. And then my back pocket. I have wall, vintage wallpaper, um, facsimile, digital. Uh, I made a journal card here and added a little key. And then, or I could say that's a large tag and then a journal card here. Okay, so that's uh, journal number one in these shades with this, and I will have that nice and tied up. Put that aside, and journal number two, I fell in love with this color because I had this beautiful silk shantung, I think that's what you call it, fabric in my stash, and I thought it went beautifully. So let's untie this um, here, this nice chiffon tie. Move that aside, and I want to show you this one. Again, birds, but of course we've got the peachy tones, and then this, I don't, it's just such a beautiful color. If It's iridescent, it's like an iridescent um, material. It's just beautiful. And then I pulled out the mauves that were in the um, embroidery here, and I had some trim that went with it. And then I have some peach trim hanging down here. So, um, just real pretty. I had this beautiful trim, a rose trim, and I made a uh, pocket here with it. And then you can see it runs across the top again, this trim. Okay, so we have this to write on. I think that's an Amity Bloom Digital. Uh, I have a fabric hang tag here, and you can take it off. A little um, scrappy tab tag. That's in this uh, large pocket here. There's a lot of room in these in these pockets, so you can add your own papers or move through you know items through the book. Okay, we've got a lot. It's similar, but it's trimmed out different. You'll see. Um, it's got a lot of the same pages, uh, but more, I added more of the warmer colors that are in the fabric on the front. So we have a little trim here in this pocket, journaling card, uh, another little flip here. You can um, tuck under there. Um, okay, so we have a pocket, pocket here and a large tag here. Why did you see this beautiful paper? Um, embossed uh, vellum. Okay, what I did with this large envelope is I have Velcro and I just did a wax seal um, on it. And in here, I have an a antique uh, paper printable. And this is the actual cover, I believe, of those French document um, those old, uh, the French um, calendar pages that I showed you in the last one. So a little, some trim here. One of those antique French calendar pages. I did some stenciling on here. And uh, vintage music. Did some scallop on the edge of this here. Vellum. Another flip, coffee stain paper. Middle of the first signature. 
I took a piece of the silk uh, Shantung trim and made a flip, a little bit of stenciling here, and some rosebud um, trim up here, lace trim. That's um, embossed. This is the uh, second envelope. I cut it on this angle and we have a journaling tag here. Also, I coffee stained it and it would you can write right on here as well. Everything in the journal can be written on every spot. A little sweet tuck spot here, got a little bookmark here, and then double tags held with a um, gemstone brad. A little trim up here. Double pocket again. Well, not a double pocket, I should say a large pocket. Would... Oh, we got an empty spot. Gonna have to pop something in there. Fun doily postcard, vintage style. This is the um, sketch paper. I made a double pocket here. So in this pocket, you can see I kind of trimmed out the three different size tags with similar trims and some fun Swarovski crystals. So that that's in the back pocket. Okay, and then the front pocket right here. And then this has been um, dyed in a pink color. And the belly band here. A vintage book. This might be empty. Yeah, this one's empty. I made these. Um, they're like a large, long envelope. I'll do a little video on how to make those. They're very simple. parchment, writing paper, some pretty paper in here, a little booklet, got a wax seal dangle here, and then um, pearl brad, Let's see I think I had, no, and then I have a little eyelet uh, down here and I added some pretty little trim, this is the middle of the second signature vellum um, envelope uh, gemstone brad and in it I have a little booklet out of cardstock parchment writing paper manuscript music a tag in here And then we've got another little double pocket, little trim here, trim, trim, and trim with these three tags. And they're all done on cardstock. And that's that sketch paper, so you can sketch on there. These bags are large, so you've got plenty of room for storing photos and whatnot. And then in this beautiful back pocket, I've got a large tag here with a little ribbon made out of the um, silk fabric a ribbon trim and a key and you can see more of that trim up there and then this page okay so that's these two and uh, these should be by the time you see this video these should be available in my shop okay guys thanks for watching and have a blessed day bye bye